Today we're working on a 2003 Ford Sport Track with an EVAP code P0442. This video is not a detailed explanation of the EVAP system. If you'd like to see that, watch my video, How to Find a Small EVAP Leak Without a Smoke Machine. And in that video, I'll explain the entire system, all the components, and how it should work. But sometimes we need smoke. That's what this video is about. And for that, we're going to use the new Ready Smoke machine. Here's our smoke machine. This is made by Ready Line. It's called Ready Smoke, and it's made in the USA. It's easy to maneuver, lightweight, easy to operate, will store in the newer toolboxes. You have your attachments for your battery. After you connect it to the battery, you'll see a green light. That means there's power to the unit and you'll hear the fan running inside. Now the red button turns on the smoke and you'll see a red light. The smoke will begin, but sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to build up. It'll start out slow and the longer it runs, the heavier the smoke will be. We're getting ready to smoke the system and we're gonna move, remove the Schrader valve. And to remove the Schrader valve, we have this tool. We're gonna stick it in here and we're gonna reverse thread. So that means it's clockwise to take it out. Once we remove the Schrader valve, this tool will be in your kit. You're gonna attach it to the port. We install the fitting and we take the hose from the smoke machine and we place it here. Once we injected the smoke, where does it go? Well, we first put it in at the service port and then it will follow all of the pathways. It'll first fill up the charcoal canister out the vent and then it'll fill up the fuel tank. See, we have smoke. You may think that's our leak, but this is a controlled leak. This hose is here so when you're pumping gas, that the gas would flow into the gas tank easily. Our next focus is the canister vent valve. It has internal moving parts and is a known common failure. On this vehicle, the canister vent valve assembly is mounted above the spare tire. And as you can see, there is no access without removing the spare tire first. So to save time on this video, we've already done that and lowered down the canister vent valve assembly so that you can see it. Most vent valves are easy to access, except for this vehicle, we had to drop down the spare tire to get access to the vent valve. The vent valve is usually in, in the rest position is usually open, where smoke will be coming out this tube here. Now in the rest position, we say the, the vent valve is open. This is showing you that the smoke is going through this vent valve. This is in the rest position. You can see this ready smoke machine puts out plenty of smoke and this is verifying it right here. Now we're going to take our scanner and turn the vent valve closed. If you don't have a scanner, another way to do it is you take your back probe, you back probe the purple and white wire on this system which is our signal to shut the vent valve off. We're going to take a power probe. Your power probe has a ground. We're going to ground it right there and you should feel a click here. This click will shut the, the vent valve off so no flow will go through. You won't have any smoke here and the vent system should be sealed. Now Sometimes you can feel the vent valve click, but that does not mean the plunger is sealing here. So you'll operate the smoke machine. Once you feel it click, you should not have any smoke coming right here. If there's smoke come out of here, the vent valve is not sealing here.
Now if you look at this, you'll see smoke coming out that tube. We're just going to exercise our scanner, which will exercise that valve. Okay, so the smoke is on. We're going to close the vent. The smoke will stop. And then we open the vent. And our smoke will start again. Now keep in mind, it takes a few seconds for that whole system to fill. So it may not be an instantaneous on and off as far as seeing the smoke, but you should see it stop completely. If it doesn't stop completely, then the vent valve is not sealing. Okay. We made sure the purge canister valve was working, and we made sure the vent valve was working. This thing came in with a small leak, and we bleed with a smoke machine, we found the small leak right here at the connection to the canister, charcoal canister. Without your ready smoke machine pumping smoke into the system and us dropping down the spare tire and the canister, you may not have seen this small leak. Now that we've found our leak by clicking in the tube back into the canister. This was a cheap fix for the customer because it needed no parts. Without our ready smoke machine, we may have never found this leak because the smoke was coming out and showed us exactly where the leak was at. Now we can see what we, you should see on your gauge. This indicates a major leak. With the vent valve closed, the ball should be going down slowly. And now you can see it's at its minimum. Now with the ball all the way down and holding, this means you have no leak. As a special promotion with this video only, Ready Smoke is offering a 10% discount just until the end of August 2018. So use the link below, we'll also put it in the video description, and enter the coupon code REALFIXESREALFAST10 to get your discount.